likes to relate instinctive aiming, instinctive archery to throwing a ball. And you know what, it, it's a great uh, analogy and correlation between the two. But when you throw a ball, you wind up, you don't pause, you don't hold. As soon as you wind up, the next step, action in your body is following through and throwing that ball or else you lose power. Because when you wind up, you, you're getting the momentum and then you're swinging forward, building off of that momentum of rocking backwards, then coming forward. Uh, the, the original thought is not mine. I, I, I heard this somewhere or read it, that as soon as you bring your bow up and draw back, that split second that you first draw back, you are pretty much on target. A lot of times your brain already did all those calculations. You're like on target, but m most people don't let go. Cause we don't, we don't believe we're on target. When you're shooting and I, I'm basing this theory off of just watching video of myself because how I shoot now is not purposeful. I didn't try to all of a sudden start shooting really fast as soon as I brought my draw, like as soon as I would draw back and, and snap shoot. I, that was not a purposeful thing. I didn't try to do that. I didn't try to train to do that. It just happened. Um, If you truly want to shoot instinctively, when you set up, before you lift your bow up, you need to pause. You need to look at the target before you even lift your bow up. As you put that tension on the string and you get your grip ready and your hook ready, and you, you need to, once you're set there, you need to then look at the target for however long you feel that you like now are, you see what you want to hit. You need to like be looking at that target. Whether you know it or not, at that stage before you lift your bow up, you're making all the calculations. Think about when you throw a ball or you throw anything. Before you wind up, before you bring that ball back, you look at what you're trying to hit or where you're trying to place that ball. You look at it for a bit. Same thing with basketball. Before you bring that ball back and go to like jump and bring your hand back, you look at the, the basket. You're making those calculations. Before you even bring that ball back to throw it, you're making calculations, especially if it's something moving, if you're trying to hit a moving target like you're a quarterback. And then when you wind up to throw that ball, calculations are done. It's over at that point when you throw a ball. Once you bring that back, you've already calculated everything and you throw. Same thing for instinctive shooting. You make all those calculations before you even draw the bow back. I believe you're ma you make them all before you lift your bow arm up. You already made all the calculations before you even lift your, your bow arm up. And as you lift it up and you draw back, you're on target. Try it. Lift it up. Do the calculations, you need to pause. And then lift your bow arm up, pull back, and release. Don't think about it at that point. Don't, like, because if you start thinking, if you're holding, guess what you're doing? You're aiming. <laughs> you're aiming. So if you go to throw a ball, no one's throwing a ball like this. No. So if you're holding back, when you draw, and you're pausing, if you're holding, it's not truly an instinctive shot. You're aiming at that point. 
So any calculations you did prior to that are just out the window, null and void, because now you're calculating again. You're putting your brain through another series of calculations based off of where you are now at full draw, holding and moving and shaking. And now your brain has to calculate from this point in a very unstable position versus before you even lifted your bow arm up and you're not moving, you're not holding 40, 50, 60 pounds, whatever. You're pretty stable. You calculate everything. Lift your bow arm up, pull back before you get into a point where you're fighting and let go. Because the calculations were done. Trust your body and your brain. If you really want to make an instinctive shot, that's an instinctive shot.